Joker, Foley Adu has sparked a wave of backlash, with fans taking to social media to vent their frustrations. As Lady Gaga steps into the shoes of Harley Quinn, many are questioning whether this bold move could jeopardize her acting career. Let's dive into why some fans think Gaga's latest role may be more risk than reward. Last month, Joker, Foley Adu made its highly anticipated debut at the 81st Venice International Film Festival, and just days ago, it hit theaters across the UK and the US. With Lady Gaga starring opposite Joaquin Phoenix, the psychological thriller turned musical has been a talking point for weeks. However, despite the hype, it seems the film has left fans deeply divided. While some praise the artistic risks taken by the filmmakers, others are calling it a misstep, particularly when it comes to Lady Gaga's performance. Social media platforms like X, formerly Twitter, have become battlegrounds for debate, with many fans voicing their disappointment. One user complained, they just wanted Lady Gaga to sing. The film had no plot, just vibes. I want my three hours back. Another quipped, even the Joker himself asked Gaga to stop singing by the end. It's clear that the musical elements have thrown off some viewers, who expected a more traditional follow-up to the dark, gritty tone of the first Joker film. In fact, some fans feel so strongly about this stylistic shift that they've questioned Gaga's future in Hollywood, fearing that this role might have irreparably damaged her acting career. Much of the criticism centers around the decision to turn the Joker sequel into a musical. For many, it felt like an ill-fitting twist that diminished the intensity of the original. One fan lamented, this could have been a great romantic musical starring Joaquin Phoenix and Lady Gaga, but at no point should it have been a sequel to Joker. Others echoed this sentiment, believing that the film's bold shift in tone was too much of a gamble. With Joker having set such high expectations as a standalone psychological thriller, the introduction of musical numbers, especially ones featuring Gaga, seemed out of place to some. Fans who were expecting a gritty continuation of Arthur Fleck's journey were left confused by the sudden emphasis on song and dance. However, not all reviews have been negative. Publications like The Guardian found the film bold and brilliant yet audaciously different in style from the original. On the flip side, the Daily Mail appreciated its experimental nature, while still acknowledging it doesn't quite reach the iconic heights of the first Joker. Critics seem to be split between those who respect its daring artistic choices and those who feel it strays too far from what made the original so impactful. One critic even noted, while this sequel doesn't scale those heady heights, it's still a gripping film about mental illness, not quite on par with classics like Psycho or One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, but not too far off either. Lady Gaga herself has been nothing short of fully committed to her role. As Harley Quinn, she steps into a character known for her chaotic energy, but her portrayal here is somewhat different, more focused on the musical journey of her character. Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix, who reprised his role as the Joker, both underwent significant physical transformations for the film. At the Venice Film Festival, Phoenix praised Gaga's dedication, recounting how she lost a substantial amount of weight to embody Harley. Gaga also revealed that they spent two months perfecting a waltz that eventually falls apart on screen, a metaphor for the unraveling of their characters. Yet, even Gaga's passion for the project hasn't shielded her from the harsh judgment of some fans, who feel that the musical element undermines the film's potential. Too much singing! Why is Gaga in the movie though, one fan wrote, while others expressed their disappointment that the film leaned so heavily into its musical identity instead of expanding on the gritty realism that made the first film a box office juggernaut. With the original Joker earning over $1 billion globally and setting the bar as the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time, the stakes were high for this sequel. Unfortunately, for some, Joker, Foley Adu simply doesn't measure up. In the midst of the film's mixed reception, Gaga has also been promoting her companion album Harlequin, a 13-song soundtrack that ties into the film's musical theme. The album includes covers of classics like That's Life and Smile, adding a new layer to the character of Harley Quinn. 
While this move has excited some fans, it's also drawn criticism from those who feel Gaga's music career may be overshadowing her potential as an actress. Joker, Foley Adu may have taken a big risk with its musical twist, but only time will tell if it pays off. Lady Gaga's future in Hollywood might be hanging in the balance, but with her dedication and talent, it's hard to count her out just yet. What do you think? Has Gaga's performance hit the right notes, or was the musical direction a misstep for the Joker sequel? Share your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more updates on the world of film and entertainment.